Number one for today's hits and all-time favorites, UB Radio. This is Tony Gore. You're listening to the Top 10 Countdown of Who's Who. Made in America. The red, white, and blue. I stand for her honor. The flag and our troops. I'm proud of my country. What she's done for me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special episode of Who's We Are Night Owl Country Band. We are the host of this here show of fine artists from sea to shining sea and internationally. We are from the great state of Indiana, and we're recording that right here in Indiana. And I am here with the rhythm player, singer, songwriter. One of the voices of Who's Who. He also does a lot of behind-the-scenes work, live action. His name is... Bernie Sanders. Hey. Oh, hey. Nice mittens. <laughs> <laughs> Most popular guy on the internet. Hey, it's Brett Denny, everyone. Man, as many memes as they put of him, if they would have voted that many times, he'd, he may, be, may have done something. We need to market those mittens and put Night Owl on them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also here with a lead guitar player. He also plays some banjo. He plays a mandolin. He plays harmonica. He does a little bit of everything. His name is Tim Dooley. I play checkers too. Oh, nice. Are you good at it? No. Oh, do you want to play checkers sometime? Maybe <laughs> for money. For money. <laughs> I don't win very often. Uh, as you can tell, uh, we're on Facebook and things are a little bit different. You're going to see some different pictures. You're going to see promo pictures of the artist. Uh, this is a very exciting episode for us to do something different, Brett. Uh, we have a top 10 of some of the best independent artists. We also have a top 10 I'm going to go over with you guys. And uh, Brett has a out of the nest question. Let's get this top 10 going. All right, let's get it started with number 10, Farm Hands. With pride. You know that you're doing lots of things that ain't right. You're out with a different party almost every night. And you're making me look like the crazy fool. So why do I have these doubts about leaving you? Because my heart tells me stay. But my pride tells me go How can I leave you When I love you so Which way shall I turn Well I'd sure like to know My heart tells me stay But my pride tells me go And that was number 10 Farm Hands with Pride what a great country song. Yeah, I love the uh, old school feel. They have great vocals. They have great harmony. Uh, Tim, I liked them a lot. Yeah, kind of remind me of uh, maybe like something Patsy Cline would have done oh, back yeah. in the day. That walking bass line and all that. It's really cool. All right. Now, number nine. Southern Gothic with Classic. Like the shine on a red Coca-Cola can on a hot summer day. Like you always do, rocking Converse shoes and Ray-Ban shade. That little black dress takes my breath over and over again. Yeah, I still gotta have it. Baby, that's classic. And we know you and me will always be the story they write about. Classic. You and me, we classic. 
And that was number nine, Southern Gothic with Classic. Two great uh, artists to start off the top ten with Farmhands and now Southern Gothic. Yeah. I, I love the both of the names also. Oh, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. The Southern Gothic. What great song that song Classic is. Yeah, they're definitely one of my favorite bands on our top ten. They, uh, they just keep getting better and better. Everything they send in is good. Yep. Better and better and gooder and gooder. Gooder and gooder. Sweet. Yep. All right, now moving on to number eight. Jeremy Parsons with Things to Come. He said, hey man, remember that one time It was broad, but I knew what he meant It's there in the front of the back of my mind With all of my greatest hits Yeah, those days ain't old California What a trip and too many ways yeah, we're tearing up squares in front of a stranger Just getting messed up on the plane Oh, I'll go back if I could That ain't how it works I lived it, I loved it And all that I learned Oh, time is a healer and life must go on Yeah, so here's to all the things to come and that was number eight, Jeremy Parsons with Things to Come. We've got uh, Valentine's coming up just right around the corner, and I think Matt's in love with this song. Aww. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is one of my favorites on our top ten countdown. Jeremy Parsons always sends in some great music, and uh, he knocked another one out of the park with this song, Things to Come. Yeah, I just love his voice. It's just a very unique uh Never heard anybody quite like him, really. Hey, y'all, this is T. Graham Brown, and you're listening to the Who's Who Countdown. It is time to step out of the nest. All right. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not as excited as Matt you Got gets. me a little, oh, I don't, yeah. a little shook. I don't, I don't think about this all day long. <laughs> 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 all right. I'm going to change it up a little bit. All right. I don't think we've done... A question like this, I don't think, on this podcast, a certain artist. Uh, So I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite Blake Shelton song? B.S. (laughs) Blake (laughs) Shelton. Easy. Blake Shelton, guys. So uh, my favorite Blake Shelton song is, I think, his first hit, I think, as a mullet-wearing youngster. (laughs) And that was uh, Austin. And by the way, boy, this is no machine you're talking to. Can't you tell this is Austin? And I still love you. That is a great song. So love that song. Yeah. It's one of, again... I've, I've said this, how many episodes is this? 54? So I think 53 times I have said I was not into country until joining this band. Man, I've missed out on a lot of great music, and Austin was one of those songs. Great story. I went with God's Country. It's just a, just a great song. I love that line, the devil went to Georgia, but he didn't stick around because <laughs> this is God's country. Yep. Man, that's some good songwriting it right is. there. It's good stuff. So, yeah, really awesome song. My, my favorite part is the church bell in, yeah. the, in the background. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, when we went to Hope, Indiana, Market Street Church, it had the, had the old uh, church bell. You uh-huh. pulled the rope. What are you doing? Bring them all in. Matt, you got a favorite BS song? I I do. (laughs) Uh, I've got a couple, actually. I I was on the fence. Um, One of them was called I Lived It. Mama poured grease in a Crisco can, put 100,000 miles on a Sears box fan. Uncle Joe put tobacco on my hand where them yellow jackets tore me up. And I ain't making this up. the kind of life that made me who I am Just taking my mind on a visit Back in town 
time cause I miss you You wouldn't know to love it like I love it unless you lived it The man I lived Great okay. song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a more recent song, but um, uh, probably my favorite is God Gave Me You. God Gave Me You for the ups and downs. God Gave Me You for the days of doubt. And for when I think I lost my way, there are no words here left to say. Thanks, yeah. Matt. A oh. little bit of lovey dubby song there. It wasn't towards you, I don't think. He was looking right at me. No, he was looking through you to Lisa. Oh, Lisa's not here. No, I was looking at Tim. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, but that would be my favorite Blake Shelton song, right. God Gave Me You. All right. The thing I've always said about Blake Shelton, you hear him live, you hear his... Uh, recorded song you hear him in a radio station doing acoustic he sounds the same yep yeah you yeah. know so I, I really like that about blake shelton i got to meet him one time and he's a very tall man yes he's huge huge yes and he had the mullet going <laughs> <laughs> but uh he just just him an acoustic guitar and it was great Good and stuff. the girls were swooning oh my, oh my gosh hmm. did tim just say he's dreamy I think so. All right. And he's dreamy, on, but I didn't swoon. We got it on tape. We still say tape. Oh, yeah. It's right here on All our, right. eight, our, our reel-to-reel tape. Reel-to-reel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for sharing. Let's move on to another great male artist on our countdown, number seven, Dave Nudo with You Could Do Better. Look at you, baby, baby. That's what everybody does every time you walk by. Then they look at this poor boy walking there beside you and scratch their heads and wonder why. Skeleton, you're a liver, and I barely made it past 12th grade. Only flaw you've been given is when it comes to picking me. And that was number seven, Dave Nudo, with You Could Do Better. And he did. He did. Yeah. I like it when he gets in the chat room with us, too, on uh, Wednesday nights on Unique Beats, uh, when um, the first airing of each week's episode is played Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Thanks yeah. a lot, Josh Parker, for helping us out with that. Yeah. Yeah, Dave Nudo is... One of those artists that has been on the top ten countdown. If you're listening to this for the first time, hey, join us every Wednesday night, right? Oh no, yeah, jump in there with us and and uh, and uh, talk to us, man. Ask us questions, just hang out. It's a lot of fun. Yes, yes. Um, come join us uh, every Wednesday. Um, we have a great time and uh, just kind of goof off in the chat room here and there. You don't even have to wear a mask. You don't. No. Yeah. No. That's right. You might catch nudoitis, though. Oh, oh that no. is true. Hey. Lisa's got it bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Wade Jennings, and you're listening to the Who's Who Top Ten Countdown. And now moving on to number six, Way Jennings with Bad at Being Sad. I can't look at pictures. And I can't say your name. You no longer hear. There ain't no one to blame Every day I cry And at night time too But you're gone for good this time And there's not a damn thing I can do And I'm mad and I'm sad I'm bad at being sad Doing things I 
And that was number six, Wade Jennings with Bad at Being Sad. I don't think I'm bad at anything. Well. Mm. What? (laughs) Are you taking votes? (laughs) Next poll up on the who's who is Brett bad at anything. (laughs) It might be our biggest, (laughs) biggest hit right there. There's not very many top tens you get to hear. So somebody that is the grandson of Waylon Jennings, Wade Jennings. Yep. Uh, he is a former number one on our show. Uh, he is another artist that has been on our show quite a bit, if you haven't listened to the show recently. And we thank Wade Jennings for sending in his music. He's bad to the bone. Bad. Bad to the bone. Looking forward to playing another show with him coming oh, yeah. up here pretty soon. So... Come and join us. Right on, right on. And now moving on into our countdown, number five, Jamie Talbot with Stand and Fight. His mom and dad taught me to be a good man. Told me I was living in a promised land. Home of the brave, land of the free. Seeing things I thought I'd never see. If a country divided gets you excited, political rhetoric's not invited. Always dark years before the light. Brother, I know my right. I'm gonna stand and fight. I won't back down. Let freedom ring. Lord, I love the sound. It's my voice. It's your That was number five, Jamie Talbert with Stand and Fight. I think every time we talk about this, we just love the patrioticism. Patriotic? The patri- patriotism. <laughs> the patriotism. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Uh, we love patriotic songs, oh, man. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's in our blood. We, we bleed red, white, and booze. A uh, blue. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> And we're excited, Brett. We're going into the studio, and we're recording uh, four new songs, and one of them is a patriotic song, isn't it, Tim? Yeah, Bad to the Bone. Bad, bad to the Bone. Wrong. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Country to the Bone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're man. excited about getting our music out. Uh, we was hoping to have it done in January, but uh, with the COVID, everything gets moved back. Is that like the Facebooks, it's the like COVIDs? The Facebooks, the COVIDs. The interweb. My dad calls it the CAVID. He he hasn't oh, quite got the I O see. in there yet. The but CAVID. So, yeah, we're excited about recording new music, getting out to uh, our fans, and maybe some of our Who's Who fans would like to hear some of our music also. Yeah, I think so. But I think they understand. You know, it's uh, a lot of it's out of our hands, so uh, we try our best. Just like uh, we've been in the studio, and we're going to be in the studio again shortly. Um, the people that are on this top ten list, uh, they made it to a studio. Yeah, they they recorded a song, and they sent the music to us uh, for us to listen to and rate and hopefully make the top ten. If you have a song or if you know of an artist or a musician that has songs that might fit our independent country music top ten countdown, you can send that music into us at Night Owl CB1, that's the number one, at yahoo.com. And we will take a listen to it. Hopefully it'll make that top ten list. Hey, everybody, this is Ralph Stanley II, and you're listening to Who's Who Country Countdown. And now moving on in our top ten list, number four, Curtis Grimes with 
still a little country left. In Greentown, Indiana, there's still a little 4-H fair. A pageant queen and a tractor pull with a kid show and a steer. And corn on the cob, fresh as you can get. There's still a little country left. the same oh say can you see they all stand and cover hearts with cowboy hats there's still a little country left if you get off the interstate and travel down the old two lane you're gonna find it's still alive and well stop in and have a sweet tea take a look around here and you're gonna see the whole world ain't gone all the way not yet No, there's still a little country left And that was number four, Curtis Grimes with Still a Little Country Left Can we can we talk about this song? Oh, here it comes Tim Do we, do we have time? Do you feel it? Do we? Oh, come on I got a feeling we're going to get cut off. I've been looking forward to this all day. (laughs) I knew it. Oh, something that we do every single week as we go through a top ten. I really enjoy going over top ten with you guys and getting your reactions. Yeah, we Um, do too, man. Yeah, I picked a bad day to quit drinking. (laughs) (laughs) Today I have the top ten best action movies of all time. Like the notebook, that's got to be on there. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> Titanic, <laughs> King of the World. This is in manofmany.com. Okay, and they actually have a top fifty list. Of course, we're just going to go through the top ten. Uh, Tim, when you think action movies, you're a big movie fan. When you think action movies, who is the first actor that comes to your mind? Uh, well, I think of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Where shall I find a new adversary so close to my own level? Try the local sewer. With um, that guy that plays in it. Yeah, Harrison Ford. Yeah, that dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to say Han Solo, but... <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of. How about you, Brett? Bruce Willis. Oh, oh yes. yes. The diehards. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's get this started. Coming in at number 10... Of the 10 best action movies of all time, number 10 is Avengers Endgame. This is the fight of our lives, and we're going to win. Whatever it takes. No spoilers. I haven't seen it. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I'm not rich like you, Tim. It's a good (laughs) movie. I go see movies all the time. I guess we can say it's a good movie. Yeah. It come out and that's it. Okay, you guys can talk. <laughs> go ahead and talk about it. La, 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 la. This movie come out in 2019. Of course, Tim, it stars Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Chris Hemsworth. That, it's got a great cast of characters. It was done really well. Oh, yeah, man. They spent some big money on that movie. So, you want to know how it ends? Well, it ends with a game. End game. Duh. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did Night Owl do the soundtrack to that? Maybe. you have to watch it to see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite superhero, Tim, real quick. Oh, uh, Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah. Okay. Brett? From that movie? Um, any. Okay. Well, Batman. Okay. <laughs> Duh. I was surprised at that. <laughs> All right. Coming in at number nine. Number nine is the John Wick trilogy. As I live and breathe. John Wick, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, man, those are so good. Never seen it. Oh, gosh. Brett, come Don't on. Don't even know who's in it. That Dude. would be one you'd want to see, Brett. That's a good one. Keanu Reeves. Oh, that is the Keanu Reeves. You know I why thought... he's so good in it? He doesn't talk. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much just... What other trilogy was he in? He was... Uh, Matrix? Yeah, no. Matrix. See, that's, that's why I didn't think it was Keanu Reeves when you yeah. talked. Okay, all right. 
Yeah. So it's good, huh? Very good. Really good. Not to give it away, but a lot of people get killed in I those see. movies. I yeah. Yeah. I, I think he surpassed because uh, there's three of them, right? See, the John Wick, the there's original, come out in 2014. Uh, chapter two come out 2017, and the newest one come out 2019. Um, after the th- chapter three, he passed Jason Voorhees on kills. So that's, oh, wow, yeah. that's pretty <laughs> impressive. That's, that's pretty so good. So there's actually somebody out there keeping track of kills. Of kills. Oh, okay, great. I want yep. that job. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at number eight, uh, I know Tim loves this movie, and it's uh, dear to his heart. Uh, uh-huh. Number eight. Starring Tom Hanks and Matt Damon, Saving Private Ryan. Someday we might look back on this and decide that Saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this whole god-awful shitty mess. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a great movie. The uh, opening scene when they storm the beach, I mean, it's almost like you're there on the beach with them. It's pretty, pretty graphic. So, great movie. All right, coming in at number seven, Brett mentioned this one just a little bit ago. Number seven is Bruce Willis and the Die Hard series. Who are you, then? Just the fly in the ointment, Hans. The monkey in the wrench. The pain in the ass. Yeah, Christmas movie. yippee ki yay yay <laughs> People say it is a Christmas movie, don't they? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, it's action. Some of the stuff's... You know, for the movies. But when he walks through that broken glass. He walks through the broken oh, glass. Man. And when that plane is taken off and the gas is leaking and he goes ahead and lights it and says the famous words. <laughs> and then the flame follows the plane up in the air and blows it up. It's good stuff. Yes, good good movie. Have you watched the newest ones? I have. I have, yeah. Not as good as the original? No, mm, no. I like the original. Coming in at number six, uh, I know Brett's going to love this one also. Number six is the Dark Knight series. People need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy, and I can't do that as Bruce Wayne. As a man, I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored. I can be destroyed, but as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. I can be everlasting. What symbol? Something elemental, something terrifying. I'm Batman. Wow. All yeah. Right. The Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they got a little closer to the comic book on those, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yep. And as far as Joker, man, I've seen the newest Joker, and it was good with Joaquin Phoenix, but, man, Heath Ledger mm-hmm. yeah. as Joker was amazing. Yep. Also starred at Morgan Freeman. Yep, he was uh, the guy that gave him all his technology stuff, right? And, of course, starring Christian Bale as Batman. Mm-hmm. I think you probably could have done a little bit better as Batman. I could have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just made my heart smile. Yeah? It did. It grew ten times. <laughs> His little bat wings fluttered. <laughs> That's enlarged heart. That's not good. <laughs> Coming in at number five, uh, this was one of my favorites. I used to watch this movie over and over and over and over. Killer okay, Clowns stop. In outer space. <laughs> Number five is Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Come with me if you want to live. Uh, of course, that was Arnold Schwarzen- Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger oh. and uh, Robert Patrick and Linda Hamilton. Uh, have you guys seen the latest Terminator? No. I've seen pictures of her. She still looks pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we're Just talking saying. about movies. <laughs> I'm talking this is about- action movies. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures from the movie, okay? Oh, there we go. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> you guys need to stay off the interweb. Coming in at number four, a movie that had a release date of 2015, had Tom Hardy, Charlize Theron, and Nicholas Hoyt. A movie called Mad Max Fury Road at number four. Okay. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die historic on the Fury Road. It was good. I like the original better. Yeah, I like the original. That was Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Yeah. And then there was a, the original Mad Max. Oh, okay. They, bo- they both had um, Mel Gibson in them. Okay. Yep. Okay. The first one, the first Mad Max, they overdubbed Mel Gibson's voice because he had a really strong 
accent, and they didn't think anybody would be able to understand him. Okay. But they gave him his own voice in the second one. All right. Coming in at number three, starring Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, and Connie Nielsen, it is a movie called The Gladiator. My name is Gladiator. How dare you show your back to me? Slave! You will remove your helmet and tell me your name. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Great movie. Russell Crowe is a great actor. He and is. He could do just about anything, you know? Yep. Yeah, uh, his latest movie was called Unhinged. Wow, that was he was huge, huge in that movie. He yeah. gained some weight he for that. I weight. think they put some padding on him too. But his he had his face. He gained a lot of weight in his face and hmm. neck. He, huh. mean, he looked like a wrestler, and he was brutal. He was very scary. Yeah, coming <laughs> in at number two, Brent mentioned this one just a little bit ago. And when you think action movies, one of the people I don't first think of is Keanu Reeves, but he got two spots on our top ten. Hello. Number two is The Matrix. I'm trying to free your mind, Neo, but I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. That movie was too deep for me. I just could not make much sense of it. It was The first one was kind of fun and cool, and, the, and that's when they had some cutting-edge special effects. Mm -hmm. But then I just didn't get into the other ones too much. And I, I'll never forget that that scene where he he bends backwards and yep. he's he's missing all the all the shots. That's yeah, sure. nobody had ever done that before in a movie, <laughs> and then no. everybody does it now. Now, when we're done recording, I want to show you. I can do it. Okay, I'll get my gun. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, my you'll, you'll miss me with every bullet. I bet. <laughs> Coming in at number one, and this is our number one of best action movies of all time. This movie release date, Tim, was 1979. Bred, it was directed by Francis Coppola. Okay. It starred Martin Sheen, Martin Sheen. Marlon Brando, and Robert Duvall. Yeah. Robert Duvall, one of my favorite actors, and the movie was called Apocalypse now, number one. You smell that? You smell that? Hey, son. Nothing else in the world smells like that. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Nice. That's the number one? Really? Yeah. That's what said. Wow. That was a really um, strange movie. Okay. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I like uh, Robert Duvall's famous line, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> They're nuking the beach the whole time. <laughs> One of my all-time favorite movies, Robert Duvall, was the movie called The Apostle. And I love a, that movie. It's a hard movie to find. Yeah, I got it on VHS. Okay. But I'd love to have it on DVD. All but, right. Yeah, yeah, it's a great movie. He should have got an Oscar for that one, but I don't think it even showed it in the great. theaters much. No, he starred Billy Bob Thornton. Even. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that top ten of the best action movies of all time. Oh, I can't nice. believe that. I can't believe Raiders wasn't on there. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Wow. It might have been in the top 50. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Matt. That was so riveting. Even Bernie Sanders loved it. <laughs> Bernie. Yeah, he was Bernie. featured in our podcast not long ago. Bernie. Hey, it's a turtle man, and you're listening to Who's Who's Top Ten Countdown. Live action. Come and sit here, you thumb. Yeah. All right. Let's move on into our countdown top three, starting with number three, Dusty Lee with Behind the Whiskey. So we had the perfect love. Don't you miss me? You can't the devil set you free. 
that was number three, Dusty Lee with Behind the Whiskey. That one's moving on up. Dusty and and Dave, they always seem to move up on this countdown. Uh, very well deserved. Yeah, I love this song. It's uh, it's it really touched me, and, and I think they talked about it last week. Um, just a great song about uh, s- sticking it out through the tough times, you know, and, and making things work, and uh, you know, not giving up on one another. So anyway, it really touched my heart, and I really love this song. Thank you, Dusty, for sharing that with us. Yes, and we have some great news in May, May thirteenth. During that weekend, we are going to be flying to Idaho. That's going to be a lot of fun where we're going to do a few shows with Dusty Lee and um, Dave Nudo. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Action-packed live action. Live action. They got potatoes there. (laughs) Don't give me some taters. Yeah. All right. Yes, moving on to number two, Jake Bush with Gravity and You. If you didn't hold me in my place, I swear I'd come untethered like a feather float away and drift along on any old wind and a tangle in a tumble and a circle in a spin. The only thing that keeps my feet on the ground That keeps my world from running up upside down Like being the clouds or sitting on some bar stool And that was number two, Jake Bush with Gravity and You. Number two, number two. Yeah, moving up. It's a good Ever song. Ever so slightly. He moved up two spots with that song. I'll tell you, Brett, I know somebody who loves this song. And it is one of our Patreons. Oh. And their name is. That would be John Barr. Oh, yeah. My bearded brother. He recently was given the patreon of the year oh lord because he started right off the bat and uh he he supported us throughout this tough time and we can't thank him enough he has a lovely wife named bonita we appreciate them for yes being a patreon so what's his reward does he get to like help us load in and stuff oh, it man, shows that'd be a great gift that is a good uh, idea it's quite a promotion <laughs> you know them little books that that uh, used to give your wife or girlfriend that said one hug and then you get it's mm-hmm. kind of like that yeah, coupon book yeah coupon so book. so we'll have uh, pick up one amp and yeah. stuff like that yeah. only That'd one cool. <laughs> tear down the drums <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it by sections yeah uh we also want to thank a america's couple and that is jerry and nadina pardue yes and we have a couple that's nipping on our heartstrings we want to thank mike and brenda anderson yes and somebody that probably owns a mustang mustang sally feel (laughs) y'all yeah thank you very much for being a patreon Oh, and there's also a very special person that we want to say thank you to for being a Patreon. Brett, that is uh, Mark Chillicothe Dooley. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Chillicothe is a place in Ohio. I spent a week there one day. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, but we want to say thank you to Mark Charles Dooley for being a Patreon, and we also want to thank, let's get that boo button ready, we want to thank Casey Johnson. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you very much for being a Patreon. If you'd like to be a Patreon, you just go to patreon.com slash nightowlcb. Yes, and you can do $25, $15, or $5. $5 gets you a shout-out. $15, you get a documentary of Night Owl Country Band. And for $25, you also get a piece of Night Owl Country Band or Who's Who merchandise. Hey, How fast was that? Sweet. All right, yes, uh, we definitely appreciate uh, each and every one of the Patreons. Um, you know, it's, it's just by their... Uh, 
uh, willingness to support us and uh, love us, and we love them. And uh, just thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yes, and in these hard times, we understand if you uh, if you're not able to support us uh, as of right now, at least you're listening to us on either Facebook or Simplecast or Apple Podcast, mm-hmm. or maybe you're listening to us on uh, Unique Beats Radio, yes, Spotify. Uh, or Spotify, yeah. yes. We just want to say thank you for listening to Night Out Country Band and supporting us by listening to us. All right. It is now time for our honorable mention. Eleanor Spring Strike with What's Your Name? I woke up with a question on my heart Wondering who, where, and when you are Have I passed you on? Not knowing yet who you'd be to me. Will you dance with me and I feel all my powers? Will you pick one out and put it in my hand? Will you play guitar and sing to me forever? Will you kiss my tears away? Time will have to play its game. But right now I'm wondering, boy, what's your name? And that was our honorable mention, Eleanor Spring Strike with What's Your Name? Matt. No. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> no. And your name's Brett. No. <laughs> <laughs> and together we are <laughs> Night Out Country, Country Band. Band. <laughs> Uh, uh. I liked the dramatic music. Uh, I think we even talked about it. We talked about what were we talking about? The drum. Yeah. Yeah, the drums in it and the the uh that's like a big wall of sound. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah. So thank you so much, Eleanor, for sending that in. Hey everybody, this is David Frizzell and you're listening to the Who's Who's Top Ten Countdown. And now it is time for our recap. Coming in at number 10, Farmhands with Pride. My heart tells me stay, but my pride tells me go. Coming in at number 9, a song called Classic by Southern Gothic. Friends come and go, but everybody knows we'll still be around always in fashion. Baby, that's classic. Number eight, Things to Come by Jeremy Parsons. Oh, time is a healer and life must go on. Yes, so here's to all the things to come. And number seven, Dave Nudo with You Could Do Better. can't see, you could do better, but I'm damn sure glad you don't. Coming in at number six, the grandson of Waylon Jennings, Oh, way, Jennings, with bad at being sad. Number five, Stand and Fight by Jamie Talbert. Number four, Curtis Grimes with Still a Little Country Left. Take a look around here and you're gonna see The whole world ain't gone all the way to hell At least not yet No, there's still a little country left Coming in at number three, all the way from Idaho, it's Dusty Lee with Behind the Whiskey. Number two, Gravity and You by Jake Bush. If you don't think I think I girl I do for gravity and you. And once again at number one, David A. Burns with Old School. If you want to talk to her, well, you better have something to say. So 
Something sweet that'll make her smile If you can't, no way she'll remember your name There ain't a pickup line out there That she ain't heard from a guy wearing jeans Just as tight as hers To get a girl like that You're gonna have to step up your game And throw it all back with some old school moves I'm talking Conway Smooth Last longer, yeah, women don't hate that Don't call her hot, call her beautiful Let her walk through a door that you don't fool How to make her fall in love ain't nothing new It's all about the old school moves and If you want to hold her body, well first you gotta hold her hand if you want her head on your shoulder, better know how to slow song country dance. She don't want to watch you whip or watch you nay-nay. She don't give a sh- She's a looking for Patrick Swayze. Most of the boys she runs across don't stand a chance. They don't understand them old school moves. Yeah, come way smooth. Last longer, yeah, women don't hate that Don't call her hot, call her beautiful Let her walk through a door that you don't fool How to make her fall in love ain't nothing new It's all about the old school moves About the old school moves. Yeah, old school moves. And that was number one, David A. Burns with Old School. We like it. We like it a lot. <laughs> yes. Great song, a uh, great story that it tells, and uh, can't beat being old school, can you, Tim? I want to be Conway Smooth. Yeah. Right. Yeah, great song. Great number one. Uh, two weeks in a row. Yep. Um, so uh, to get multiple weeks with the music we've had sent in, that is a really good. All right. Tim. Yes, sir. Would you like to leave our listeners with a little word of wisdom? I just want to thank Bernie Sanders oh. for his lovely mittens <laughs> <laughs> that has graced the pages of yeah. Facebook for the last 24 hours. Keep them coming. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And have a great day out there, guys. Matt, what do you got? Yes, we appreciate everybody that's listened to us. If you listen to us on Facebook or wherever you listen to us on our our podcast, if you listen, we did something different this week on Facebook. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please let us know. And uh, if you want to hear the replay of it, you can hear it on Simplecast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you find your podcast. Um, we thank you very much for listening to Who's Who. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to the Who's Who Independent Music Top 10 Countdown. Remember, as always, if you want to support the show and Night Owl monetarily, head on over to patreon.com slash nightowlcb. Toss a few twigs to our nest to keep this bird in flight. If you have no bucks to toss our way, however, go find us at facebook.com slash who's who pod, facebook.com slash night owl country band, on Twitter at the Real NOCB, Instagram at Night Owl Country Band, and online at www.nightowlcb.com, where you can purchase tickets to our shows, purchase merchandise, and check out our schedule as to where we will be playing next. And until next time, on behalf of Matt, Tim, Steve, and myself, we encourage you to step out of your nest and listen to some music this week that you normally wouldn't have listened to. Take care and stay safe, everyone. See ya. Have a good week. Made in America. The red, white, and blue. I stand for her honor. The 
flag and our troops. I'm proud of my country, what she's done for.